I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Scar? Is that recent? We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! Oh, come on. I don't have any more chips. Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay. We're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. 
and we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? I'm sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, how do you say you're The door's locked! The door's locked! I'm no, telling Kathleen you! No, Kathleen, it's not locked. Oh, get me out of here! Give us a moment. Get me out of here now! Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. Well, I can't! You're not leaving me here! No! I feel like everyone's looking at us. That's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. Who are these people? Uh, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. But the most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheikh Ahmed. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Talk later, Ahmed. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. I should be flattered. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. Tasawa go fi London ni hair alus kwal madi. Lagat ishtara Muhammad 
طائرة جديدة إنها مريحة جدا طائرة سابقة كانت بطيئة نعم Hayden, are you ready? There's a large painting. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful. You got it? Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. Be careful, Aiden. You know you can't touch other people when you're controlling someone. Gotta be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden. It's not working. Get the guard out of here and open the safe. Go for it, Aiden. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Sorry, I can't do anything to help you. Jody, all right? Don't touch me! I want to 
to go now? Right. Yeah, we're leaving. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress, stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Was oh, it a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. So, you work with Kirsten's mother? I've never met Kirsten before. Her mom works in my unit, and that's why I was invited. I used to live in, uh, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York. Oh, man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a... And you, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read, and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. No, that's okay. Oh. Slow dance. 
Are you, you up for it? I don't... I don't really know how. That's all right. I don't really know how to either, so... You don't like other girls, I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> I think I'll pass. I can't keep up with you. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, no, idea. no, no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right. Okay, guys. It's time to eat that delicious cake, and most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen. X X X. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection. Uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. A girl and who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever, but she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah, she's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh, mistress of the obscure darkness, bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me One out! The first moment I see you! Please! Did someone say cake? Please, no. I want to get out! Please, making me hungry. I get out. I yeah, let's get this party please started. <laughs> Get me out of here, here. here. please. <laughs> <laughs> 
Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> the door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. Come on, let's go! Jody, come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. You can have it if you want. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? She 
since you... Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? Mind if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him? Well, maybe he'll show up later. After we get to know each other a little better, right? Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. Study and sleep for the next three years. Your training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Holmes, keep up! Of the swing across. Hurry! Go! Fire! Come on! Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. Good. Let's keep going.
Groot. It's not a fucking Sunday stroll. Not bad, Jody. But if this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. <laughs> Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Looks like you Great made job, it, Jody. Congratulations. Check. Can I see your IDs, please? Shit! That's her! That's her!
Yeah, I know. We gotta get out of here before they come back.
Hold your positions. No choice. We're going straight through. Are you ready, Aiden?
tell them to leave me the fuck alone. Because next time, I'll kill everyone. Come on, Aiden. I think they get the message. 